Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, I'm really excited for this project. We're going to take this Apple IIc monitor that I got off of eBay. We're going to tear it apart, retrobrite it so it looks like new, and then we'll install an LCD monitor inside of it to convert it to color. So, let's get started. So I'm following Javier Rivera's instructions on Facebook and I'll post a link to that in the show notes. The first thing we need to do is just remove the mounting bracket for the stand that just has a single large screw. Then there are six screws that hold the body on, two there, two there, and two up at the top. And so we'll just remove those next. The first piece we want to remove is the back panel. To do that, just lift up until it clears the knobs in the back, and then the easiest way to do is spin it around, pull up, and then just pull towards you, and it should just pop right off. The next thing to remove is the top panel, and there's two screws that we need to take off, so we'll go ahead and do that now. So now that we've got the back off, we can now slide the top part off and that should just come off fairly easily depending upon the grime. Uh, there's actually a lot of dirt inside there so we're going to want to clean this out a little bit later. Now we're ready to remove the sides of the monitor. To do that we have to unscrew the contrast control and the power switch on both sides. So there's two screws that hold in the contrast control and then if we swing the monitor around there's two screws that are holding in the power switch. So in my particular model, the handle is actually a separate piece, which just pops right off. Uh, this is different from other models where it's part of the sides. Now we'll actually try and take off the sides. And to do this, you need to be really careful because you can easily damage or ding the plastic. So what I'm doing is using a plastic putty knife and just running it along the edge. And if you do that all the way around, you should be able to loosen all the plastic so it just pops up. Uh, one thing to keep in mind there may be some bits that get in the way so for example the power switch needs to be jiggled out of the way and once you kind of snap that free you should just be able to lift off the entire assembly with a little bit of brute force and finesse. So now we've got it off and we've exposed all of the guts and the last thing to do is just take off the front of the monitor. There's four screws that hold the front of the monitor onto the actual front of the case. So you just need to reach down and unscrew those. And this is where you need to be really careful to not drop the screwdriver into the mechanism. And then finally, there's one last screw, which is just holding on the LED light, the power light. And then to take off the front, you just kind of wiggle it and it should all come out as one big assembly. Following Javier Rivera, the master of RetroBright, I was able to brighten up the Apple IIc monitor case and it turned out fantastic. So next here is the LCD board that I got off of eBay and it's got the LCD screen along with the controller board and we're going to go ahead and mount that into the case. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just using a bunch of wood blocks to mount the LCD control panel and the LCD screen inside the Apple IIc monitor case. There's a lot of extra room in there, so space certainly isn't a problem. And the first thing I needed to do was if you look inside at the very back, you can see I just have a block of wood all the way along the back there. And this is just to provide a place for the screw mounts from the back of the case just to hold the back of the monitor panel on. Then I've got another piece of 3 8 inch wood here to mount the circuit board for the LCD. And I did this so that I could actually access the composite jack out the back. And we'll get to that in a second. I've also detached the power button 
and the brightness knob here from the original monitor and I've just mounted those in there so they don't actually do anything right now. Uh, one more thing to mount the piece of 3 8 inch, I took the bottom bracket off of the original monitor, so the CRT, and that's so that I could actually mount the plate that holds the Apple IIc monitor to the stand. So that screw hole goes into the existing hole and it just goes up into a hole here in the bottom of the piece of wood. And then finally the next piece was mounting the screen itself and the tricky part here is you need to actually put the screen so that it's flush against the front of the case but then also have a way to secure the case together. And before I did that the one thing I needed to mount was actually the LED light for the new LCD and luckily this came on a pretty long cord and so what I needed to do is just mount this little circuit board onto a piece of wood and I mounted it onto the existing screw hole here for the original LED light. So I haven't actually had to make any modifications to the Apple IIc monitor case itself which is great in case I wanted to reverse the process. So finally for the screen what I needed to do is basically mount it so that the screen was flush against the front. So if we put the screen in, it fits really nicely in between all these little holes. And what I did is I just built this kind of strange looking wooden contraption. And what it is is basically a big piece of quarter inch plywood where I've put on two small thin kind of just braces here and when these actually get turned upside down these will actually hold the LCD screen against the front of the Apple IIc and then what I've done is on the back of this I've actually mounted four little wooden blocks so we'll slip this in here and you can see the screw holes line up really nicely there there's a, a little access hole here so we can actually plug in the cable from the uh, control panel over here and so that'll get plugged into here and then I've got four blocks of wood here that I just glued on and this is where we'll actually drill some holes in here so that we can actually use the original mounting holes. So once I've put the screws in here to kind of hold the screen down then we'll be able to go ahead and put on the case and screw it all together and hopefully it'll all just stay together and we'll be done. Alright so now I'll go ahead and test the Apple IIc monitor with the LCD. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and we'll reboot. Okay, so the screen comes on, it looks nice and sharp and there's the text and we boot up and so everything looks really good. Um, so one thing I did notice about this screen is it has a hard time sometimes adjusting from graphics to text. So for example, if we go HDR, we switch to graphics, and then we go back to text mode, it will sometimes take a few seconds before it switches back to text, and then occasionally it'll flip out and switch like it's lost the signal, and then finally it settles back on the text. So I think this is just a quirk of the LCD board that I got. Maybe a different board might be slightly better, I tried to order a different board, but it actually was not as sharp as this one. So I think I'm just going to stick with this and just kind of live with the quirks for it. One other thing that I couldn't quite figure out how to do is to mount the control panel for the LCD. So if you look in the back, you can see that I've got the control panel just kind of coming out the back right now on its wire. And I'll probably just double stick this to the back of the monitor. I don't quite know another way to mount it. Other than that, the project was a success. So if you have an old Apple IIc monitor lying around that doesn't work, I'd highly recommend going ahead and getting one of these LCD monitors off of eBay and putting it into your own Apple IIc monitor case. So that's enough for this episode and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.